fellow Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests, great to be here. And isn't it wonderful, this Toastmasters? So clever, all those pathways we could learn, all those ins and outs of speaking. Well, I want to talk today about this style of speaking, one of the styles at least. But sometimes I think the pathways are a bit too clever and a bit too ornate. We're talking about motivational strategies today. Another one was uh, persuasion, persuading influence. I think we could do something more down to earth. So I'm going to, I'm writing a letter and this is it. Uh, it's just to give some down to earth strategies or styles uh, for other Toastmasters. Maybe we can put them in uh, the basis of the base camp, <laughs> another category. Here they are. I'm just going to send this off to Toastmasters. Speaking calmly, even when you're terrified out of your wits. Well, that's true, isn't it? How to appear clever while speaking, even though you are a complete idiot. It's good for business, isn't it? Yeah. Or being able to speak and have the face of a tortured monkey at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but we need something a bit more uh, down to earth and grounded. Anyway, you do all your Toastmasters training and then what are you at the end? You're a true leader or you're a true Toastmaster. Yeah? Well, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm going to play with that word true. Uh, are you an authentic person? Are you a real person, a truthful person? Does something of you come out in your speeches? Are you honest? Are you personable? <laughs> this is what I want to talk about. I was with talking to my cousin the other day and um, she was looking for somewhere a live stream of a church uh, ceremony just so she could attend it uh, she can't go out to the church she saw this and she looked and she looked and uh, finally she saw something that she was linked to and she said to me these were her own words it was meaningful it was authentic and she was pleased and she was happy it was actually the Pope saying his mass in a few words in uh, in the Vatican on a Sunday so uh, there's one story I want to tell you about this which really sticks in my mind uh, it's in the mists of time but uh, I was once in a school in Mitchellstown a secondary modern school and uh, there was a big debate going on. It was a, big, a debate competition and the two teams were really excellent and you could hear the words crisp and clear each word from each team. They spoke with a logical progression, they moved around a little bit, everything was on time and it was really good. So the chief judge came at the end, she said, she gave them all the praises and she said, well, I thought that was magnificent. I said, there's just one thing that enabled me to decide who would win this competition. And it was just a tiny thing, she said. It was when one of the speakers did this. And she said, it personalised it for the whole team yes even that little bit and that was the only real personal thing in it and she latched onto it and they won it because there was some personal element in the speaking it was not just dried and organized i thought that was amazing there's a lad i know man you probably know him too maybe he's been around long enough pat sexton yep he was a great speaker terrific command of words but I thought he was a bit insincere and maybe his words sounded a bit false so I said this to him and he said uh, 
Well, if we can't be sincere, we can pretend. <laughs> and I had to laugh really because um, I thought, well, if you're doing that, you're not really a Toastmaster, you're an actor. You're presenting things, but it's not you. And actors are like that, aren't they? So just think now, uh, if you're doing, maybe you've, you've got a book and you really like it, or a television show, and you want to talk about it. So you bring it to Toastmasters and you talk about it. But all you might do is just regurgitate everything there, regurgitate it. Well, that's not natural. And uh, an Indian guru once said quite well, thought this was very good. A thing practiced is never true. A thing practiced is never true. So we're looking at authenticity, we're looking at naturalness, we're looking at something personality which would go into your Toastmaster speech and give it that little closeness as though almost you're with your own friends. Finally I just want to do a little poem to bring the ideas together and it's called Honestly Speaking Speak not in false tones to me, or with stiff words. Speak from your bones. May the words come from your flesh. May your honest living and your family's affections be part of your movements. Do not desert your inner self. Let the words that fall from your lips Spring always from your good self. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters.